In this video, we're going through a technique that allows you to edit faster by using multicams for your YouTube videos. All right, guys, let's get into it. So right now I have multiple cameras running. I have my main camera, my A7S Mark III. I have the Panasonic up here, which is doing my keyboard because there's gonna be some parts in this video where I'm talking about the keys. I'm doing a screen record on my screen because we're talking about editing. And then I have all my audio running through my Zoom. So I have my microphone up here. That's my main microphone for when I'm talking to you. But when I turn this way, then I'm gonna be using this microphone so that I have cleaner audio over here. So essentially I have five inputs and this can become super chaotic if you don't use a multicam workflow. So what multicam does is it allows you to take all of these different sources and it automatically syncs them up. So it creates a single file in your editing software that then you can switch between your cameras just by clicking one, two, three, four, and then be able to use the audio that you want from which source. So it completely solves the issue when you have all of these different sources. And this comes in handy all the time if you're doing videos where you have multiple cameras running or you have multiple audio sources, if you put it into a multicam clip, it just saves you so much time on the back end. So the software that I use to edit is Final Cut Pro and Final Cut has a great multicam tool. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through how you multicam in Final Cut. However, if you're using Premiere, if you're using Resolve, if you're using some other editing software, they do have multicam options as well. But before we get into the computer and I show you how this all works, I just wanna kinda of set you up for success. I've done a ton of multicam editing over the years. I have a fitness production company and most of the time we're shooting two, three, four, five, six cameras. So I've been doing multicam workflows for a long time and we don't do live switching on set. Everything's done in post. So I have to make sure that everything's set up properly when I'm shooting so that when we get into the editing software, things aren't jumbled. And one of the key things you wanna do is just leave all of your sources running for the duration of the shoot. So while I'm creating this video here, I have the four different sources, the two cameras, the audio, and the computer, and I hit record around the same time, and I'm just gonna let these run. So if this takes me an hour to do this whole tutorial, I'm gonna let all these sources run. You never wanna cut because when you cut, that creates a cut point that then you have to sync up. It just makes it harder. And if there's sections where you stop and there's a few minutes of dead time, it doesn't really matter as long as you have enough cards and you have enough batteries to be able to last the entirety of your shoot. Now the second thing that you need to do is you need to make sure you either have audio or time code running to all the sources. Now time code is gonna be more on the professional side of things, but for most people, if you just have audio running to all of your sources and all of the cameras and the audio gear can hear what's going on, then the editing software is gonna automatically be able to sync it up, especially because there's only one take per source. It's very easy to line that up. So with my cameras and my computer, they're just running scratch audio and all my main audio is coming through this. And you'll see when we get in here, we're gonna be using this audio, the, the zoom with the microphone up here as our main audio source, but we can switch between all the different cameras. And when you're editing a multicam workflow, the biggest advantage is that you can play in real time and you can set it up so that when you hit one, it goes to camera angle one. When you hit two, it goes to camera angle number two. When you hit three, it goes to camera angle number three. So when you're editing, you can play this in real time and it will be as if you are watching a live performance and you're just switching between the cameras. That's what makes this workflow so powerful. You basically watch it through once, you do your cut, cut out any bad sections within it, and then you basically have your first cut done. And then you do your second cut, cleaning it up. And that's how I'm able to like knock videos out super fast is by using this style of a workflow. So let's jump into Final Cut and let me show you how you set this up and how you can edit using multicams. All right, so this is some footage that I have from a tutorial that I'm working on around color grading with the loop deck. So I have the loop deck top down. You're gonna be able to see how I use this in the video. I have my screen recording that shows the color grading that I'm doing. And then I have the talking head bits, my A-roll. On top of that, I have two audio sources. So this is very similar to this video. I'm essentially doing the same multicam edit about multicam editing because I just did a multicam edit of color grading. So then I have my two audio sources. So one of these is my zoom. So that's the one here on the desk. And then I have my microphone that's above me. And these are these two sources here. So when you get into Final Cut, you basically bring in all of these clips 
and you're gonna wanna create a multicam. Now, because they're single clips, you can actually just highlight all, then right click and hit new multicam clip, and it will automatically do this for you. However, that does not work if you have like two takes on a single camera. So if this camera stopped and re-rolled or you're doing multiple takes, that simple method doesn't work. We have to name each camera. So I, this is something I do no matter what style of multicam, it's just a good habit to name all your cameras so that when you make the multicam, all of the same camera is on the right timeline. And you're gonna see how this works in a second. So what I do is I'll take my main camera and you go over to your inspector on the right hand side, you pull up your inspector and you'll bring up your menu on the bottom here and you wanna click on extended. So when you have clicked on extended, you'll see camera angle and camera name and you'll wanna give these a name. So I give each camera or source a name. I go A, B, C, D. It's the easiest way to do it, I think. So I'll go through, I'll name each of these A, B, C, D, and E. And then I'll do that same thing I said earlier. So I'll highlight all the clips that I want in the multicam. I'll right click and I'll select new multicam clip. Now you can title your multicam clip. I'm gonna call this just all because it's all the footage that I'm using. And you wanna have set up, use audio for synchronization. And then I just use the auto settings. If you click the button, use custom settings, then you can actually set what your multicam is going to be. So let's click custom settings. Cause instead of 4K, maybe you wanna make this a 1080 multicam. Maybe you're not doing a 4K output, but for me, I always wanna use the highest resolution. I'm always editing in 4K, and then I'll down convert later to 1080 if that's something that the client needs. On YouTube, I export everything as 4K, so I keep it all in 4K. I use a 4K workflow. I just use automatic settings and use audio for synchronization. This is key because at the beginning, like I said, you need to have all of your audio sources collecting audio so that when you click this button, it does it all automatically for you. It's gonna do the synchronization. It's gonna create this multicam clip. You can see right there, it's got the four squares on it and it's labeled all. I'll double click that. And this is basically a compound clip. So you can see that in this video clip labeled all, there is five layers. And you can see right here on the left-hand side, camera A, camera B, camera C, camera D, camera E. So if you had multiple takes for camera A, they would all be on that A timeline. This is why it's important to name your cameras. So that is your multicam. Now let's pull up our timeline. So let's create a new timeline. We're gonna do multicam sample. So now I have just an empty timeline. Now I'm gonna bring this multicam down onto this timeline and you'll see it just looks like a typical video clip. There's not five layers here, it's just one layer. So you're only seeing one camera but everything is embedded in this one compound multicam clip. So what you'll do is go up to your viewer, click view, and you'll click the angles. Now the keyboard shortcut is command shift seven. And that's what I use because it makes it easier. But that pulls up all of your angles. So right now I have my window set to scene four, but there's actually five. So you could set up a display of two, four, nine, or 16. Just depends on how many angles you need to see when you're editing. A lot of times when I'm using this, I'm doing it for two cameras because when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I might have two cameras rolling at the same time. And it just makes it easy to bounce between. But in a situation like this, I have a lot more cameras. So I'm probably gonna use the four settings so I can see at least all three cameras. So I'll click nine and then you could see, all right, there's five in there. But we're not gonna be really using these audio ones in this viewer because the audios are gonna be more consistent. I'm not gonna be jumping back and forth between the audio as much as I'm gonna be jumping back and forth between the cameras. So I'm gonna set up to four so I can get as much view of these three cameras. So now when you start editing, you just hit play on the space bar and say I wanna do uh, the loop deck. I'll just click the three button. It automatically cuts to that. Now I'll click the two button. It goes to my screen record. I go click the one button, goes back to me. So you can see in real time how you're able to edit and just click one, two, or three, or four, or whatever. But what this is doing right now is cutting both your video and your audio. So it's using the source from the camera and using the source from the screen record. We don't wanna do that. We wanna separate them out because we want the audio from the microphone or the microphone, whatever microphone is your main microphone, that's what you wanna keep consistent because you don't want the audio pinging around. So what you're gonna do in this upper right hand corner is you're gonna separate out what you're cutting. So this icon right here, 
This is enable video and audio switching. You'll wanna click on the one next to it, which is enable video switching only. So now when you go down to your timeline, you'll wanna set which audio you wanna use. So I'm gonna right click on my mouse and I'm gonna click active audio angle and I'm gonna use the audio angle that makes sense for the period that I'm working in. So this is the section where I'm talking, it's essentially the same shot. I wanna use this audio, that is D. So I'll click D, it's gonna be audio from my D source, and then as I play and I'm cutting, the audio will stay consistent. And now when you see this, you'll see there's a bunch of cuts here on the timeline, but the audio is still all from the D source. Now let's say you wanna change the source, maybe you don't wanna use D and you wanna use E, the other microphone right here. Well, you can go through and right click, click active audio angle and click E, and it's gonna switch it's gonna be whatever you selected so between two cut points. Now a couple other things that really make this workflow fast is that once you do your initial cuts, you can go through and clean these up. So you can click on the cuts between and you could just slide the cut forward or back. And then also you could just like delete sections out. So as you're editing, you can cut sections out and this is still a multicam clip, but you're just cutting out a section of that multicam clip. So I might blade tool these, delete that, do active angle A, I'm gonna go through this, I'm gonna to cut to B, to C, back to B, back to A. Actually, what if I wanna change this clip? Well, you can do that, you just right click, bring up your active audio angle and you can change it. So you can go through after you edit and clean up all your cuts and switch cameras. You just have to right click and you can change the audio or the video for that specific section that you've highlighted. And when it comes to your multicam workflow, that's how simple it is to get your initial cut done. So you can see how powerful this tool is to be able to put everything into a multicam clip and then just do a live cut and basically edit your videos in real time. So guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down in the comments down below. And I highly suggest after watching this, you check out this video right here, which is all about making your videos more interesting with doing cuts in and out so that you're not doing just like straight jump cuts. And what's cool about this method is you can create your multicam timelines and have different edits of the same camera source jumping in and out. All right guys, I will see you over there.